We all know the aurora borealis are a spectacular display happening above, but do you really know what causes it? What is the aurora borealis? This is where the tale of the aurora starts. On the sun, a star of average size among billions of other stars in our Milky Way. The sun acts as an enormous power plant. The energy is created deep inside the core of the sun. Here the temperature is over 14 million degrees and the pressure so enormous that hydrogen atoms are squeezed together into another element, helium. This nuclear reaction releases energy. The light radiates outward from the core of the sun. In the outer layers, the heat moves to the surface in huge eddies called convection cells. These electrical currents of charged gas create magnetic fields inside the sun. In some places, strong magnetic fields push their way up through the surface. They slow down the eddies of hot gas. The surface cools and darker sunspots appear. The electrically charged gas is called plasma. The plasma drags the magnetic field further outwards. The magnetic field stretches and twists like a rubber band. And then the rubber band breaks. Several billion tons of plasma is hurled out from the sun. This is called a solar storm. The solar storm can reach speeds over 8 million kilometers an hour. After six hours, it blows past the planet Mercury. After 12 hours, the planet Venus. storm reaches Earth. When the solar storm reaches our planet, something strange happens. An invisible shield, the Earth's magnetic field, deflects the storm. The magnetic fields couple together and create a funnel where the gas streams down on the daylight side of the pole. This is the daylight aurora. The magnetic fields stretch further back and couple together. The magnetic rubber band breaks, and gas from the solar storm streams along the magnetic lines towards the poles on the night side. This is the nighttime aurora. Why are they different colors? The Earth's atmosphere is made up of nitrogen, oxygen, and other gases, commonly known as air. The colors of the aurora depends on the gas molecules that the particles are mixing with. So green, the most common color of aurora, is a charged particle mixing with oxygen. Blue is when they mix with nitrogen. Generally along the lower edge, we see a really intense, very vibrant purple color. That's an indication of that, of particles interacting with nitrogen. Astronomer and physicist Galileo actually coined the term Aurora Borealis in 1619. It was after Aurora, the Roman goddess of mourning. He mistakenly thought that the auroras were due to sunlight reflecting from the atmosphere, according to NASA, though indigenous northerners have oral traditions about the lights that go back generations. How high up are the auroras? Aurora are between 100 and 500 kilometers above the surface of the Earth. 
How high is that? The International Space Station orbits the Earth at about 400 kilometers above the surface. Astronauts on the space station often get a side view of the aurora. That's still cool too, because the side view of an aurora can give you an unbelievable show. It, it, it shows you that how tall an aurora can be. Saturn and Jupiter also have beautiful auroras, even more powerful than Earth. There is a lot of mystery around the aurora, though. Scientists are always looking at new missions to better understand the relationship between the sun and the Earth and forecasting auroras and space weather. So why are aurora more visible in the north? Well, most auroras occur in a band called the auroral oval. That's a huge ring of aurora above the Earth's north and south magnetic poles. The northern lights we see are just a small section of the auroral oval. Places like Alaska, Greenland, Scandinavia, and northern Canada are the perfect zone because they're close to the auroral oval. If you're at high latitudes anywhere on the planet, chances are every single night there is auroral activity overhead. When there is active space weather, it can push the auroral oval like an elastic band further south. That's when people right across Canada and even the United States can see the aurora. And let's not forget the southern lights. People living near the South Pole can see the aurora borealis's cousin, Aurora Australis.